and set in top to pre present pop over from bar button item yep sender permitted arrow directions uh, UI pop over arrow direction any animated equals uh, no. Actually, I'll just make it animated so you guys can see what it looks like. I actually don't like it, but you guys can choose. And then just say use the pop control release. Okay, so you can just copy and paste that into your show images, and you can just say images. Okay, so images control. You can basically just copy and paste the stuff to change it. Uh, I believe that is everything we fixed. Okay, save. We're going to get into the UI image, very the <laughs> image in the popover in a moment. Okay, so you can see it's kind of small here, but that's the only way it's going to fit. Oh, right, we have to hook up the actions. Sorry. We have to do that. So go into your view controller.xib and just hook up your little buttons to their actions. So show images pop and show pop. And build and run. And now our actions will be hooked up and it should work. Sure. Pop. It works. You can see that we have all of our weird stuff in it. And you can see the pop over moves to the keyboard, which is nice. And then images. It does that, it'll overlap, but I think you guys can figure out how to release a popover if you can't escape. And you can see there's nothing in our images so far. Okay, so you can just click that and go into your images.m file. And let's just say, I don't feel like creating a button, let's just say that if you use your double caps, then uh, it'll open up the, you can, actually no, let's just open it up before I'm stuck. So, uh, I have the code over here and, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I should copy and paste it or write it out, some of it can get a little bit wrong, but uh, I'll just copy and paste it somewhere. Mm. Okay. All right, okay, so, sorry. Go back into your viewcontroller.h file, and on the Show images pop over. We gotta change some of this. Um, uh, basically, we're going to want to. You know, I'm just going to. Uh, change this. Okay. So, a UI image picker controller user. Uh, photo picker, user photo picker, delegate set self. 
And then we do the UI popover stuff. And the UI popover is going to be uh, get a little bit different. So, uh, sorry that I messed up a little bit. Um, I want to say, uh, so UI image picker control, user photo picker, uh, UI image picker controller, analog in it, user photo picker, set delegate, UI popover, image pop, uh, and it, uh, this content uh, from view controller, user photo picker, and then all this stays the same, the rest stays the same, uh, but then user photo picker has to be released. And then you can say, and it's going to copy and paste this stuff. So this is what happens when the user uh, gets their photo. And so, user photo picker dot parent dismiss. Uh, this is if they cancel, but if they don't cancel, let's say image. We have to. Uh, you can delete this because I messed up a little bit. So, you go into your. Uh, view controller dot h just the main view controller and create an id outlet ui image view image found it here so save cross your fingers build it worked and whatever I think we can just dismiss that okay Images. There are no photos in here, but it worked. And uh, um, sadly, uh, I cannot, or I don't have any photos in here. Uh, and yeah, so I know that it works. I'm 100% sure that it works. I can tell you that. So you just pause the video, get that down. That's how they create a UI popover with a, an image view or er, with an image picker in it and then get the image and then do something with it. So that's what we're doing with it. You guys can do whatever you want with it. You could use it to edit a photo or something. And then well, that's basically it. Oh and if you go into here, you have to have this, otherwise um, the little um the arrow will o the arrow on a popover will overlap the bar that it's coming from. So you have to put this in here always. Okay. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and please subscribe. And don't forget to enter my giveaway for a whole application, uh, which has some great examples on how to program. And this isn't like a giveaway for an application on the App Store. This is an app that I never got around to publishing. Uh, it's a whole, and you, I'm get, just giving it away to one of you guys. I mean, this could make you free money. You don't have to do anything. So, yeah. Doing that, and thanks for watching.